I'd like to take a moment to thank my channel members. Thank you. It's continued support like yours that keeps this channel growing. And if you haven't already, please consider joining today. Hello and welcome, I'm Bert the Stormtrooper and today we're going to be taking a look at the Transformers Reactivate video game inspired Soundwave and Optimus Prime 2 pack. In today's video we're going to be focusing in on Soundwave and then next week for That's Just Prime we'll be taking a look at Optimus Prime himself. So this is available right now as of the time of this recording. I got mine from Amazon. It is a two-pack that includes a Voyager, uh, deluxe class figure and a Voyager class figure. Retails for approximately $62 and it comes with everything you see included here. So again, today we're focusing in on Soundwave. So he comes with, well, he comes with Optimus Prime and his weapons. <laughs> he comes with a sheet of instructions and he comes with these two weapons. One is for the shoulder. And one is a handheld weapon, or you can uh, have him hold both in his hands, or you can decide which one you want to put on the shoulder. It's completely up to you. Taking a quick look at the packaging itself, you get a window box. The figures do come packaged in robot mode. Nice artwork of Soundwave and Optimus on each side. Transformers reactivate product shots of Soundwave in both modes, product shots of Optimus in both modes. Around the side, we got artwork of Soundwave. On the other side, Soundwave of, uh, artwork of Optimus. And then around the back, again, those product shots again. We've got Optimus Prime in both vehicle and robot mode. Soundwave in both vehicle and robot mode. Approximately 15 steps for transformation. And you can see down here, you've got, again, product shots of the figures. I, I At least I think those are product shots. This looks like uh, actual rendering from the video game this shot right there. So I'm really looking forward to that. So here's Soundwave in his robot mode standing approximately six inches tall, which I have to say it's it just feels a little small. A deluxe class coming with that or coming packed in with that Voyager class Optimus, which is a really good size figure to have a Decepticon packed in with him be this small is a little disappointing. I really, really like this figure. This figure was a surprise for me. I got this pack for Prime. I was not interested in the Soundwave. And I ended up really, really liking this Soundwave. It's such a cool design and such a cool concept in both his modes. But he, I just find him to be, at six inches, he's just a little too small. I wish I could get an exact figure. This exact figure, change nothing about this, just ups upscale him up to a Voyager class. And I think he would make a perfect figure. But going all the way around, so you can see he's a nice size figure. Not a lot of uh, hollow spots or waffling. They do a pretty good job of covering in those spots. For example, here on the shins, they filled that in with the vehicle's wheels, which is nice. I do appreciate the effort there. It does seem like Takara or uh, Hasbro rather lately, they've been, they seem like they're doing a, a better effort, right? I'm not going to say they're being perfect, but they're making a better effort at covering up hollow spots and not leaving a whole lot of waffling. We do have a little bit of it right here on the arms it's a it's shallow though it's not very deep it's, it's shallow so it does look like they're at least trying to make a little bit of an effort coming in close check out that head scope that is sound wave through and through looking really nice but again very video game inspired very cybertronian looking i dig that a lot he does have a bit of a backpack but it's really not bad i mean sound wave was a big box anyway so this is actually it makes sense when you get the figure in hand it makes sense why this is here and it's really not that big uh, and it's not intrusive. It doesn't uh, really deter from the figure at all. Articulation-wise, the head is on a mojo. You can move up and down and side to side. A little bit of inquisitive tilting right there. Shoulders can move in and out, up and down, all the way around. Do we have a rotation? Yep, we have a rotation at the bicep, and we got a bend at the elbow, and we also have a rotation at the wrist. Rotation at the waist. Legs can go forward that far back only that far they don't go back a whole lot in and out rotation at the thigh bend at the knee and you've got ankle tilts for wide angle stances bringing in the weapons we get two weapons so this one right here the short weapon right here uh, again you can hold either weapon in his hands you can hold both weapons in his hand if you wish you can also uh no you can't wow okay I've been convinced that you can plug these together, but obviously you cannot. Look at that. That does not fit. That's a shame. Um, but you can hold both weapons in the hands. However, this one, I believe, is intended to be his shoulder cannon because 
that handle is also on a pivot. It can rotate up and down. So you can go ahead and plug this in right here. You can plug in either weapon really to his shoulder. It's completely up to you. But there you go. You can do that or you can do this. Again, completely up to you. But if you do that one, that one's going to kind of look down. It's going to point down, unfortunately. You can take advantage of this pivoting pin or handle on this one right there. So you can actually move it up and down, which is really neat. And rotate it and all of that good stuff. So it's pretty neat that you get a shoulder cannon that is also articulated. Very Predator-like right there. And then get his other weapon, put it in his hand. And there you go. There's Soundwave all armed up and ready for battle. Now, unfortunately, this Soundwave does not have an opening chest. So there is not going to be any additional figures like a, like a Ravage or a Laser Beak or anything like that. I mean, I'm sh sure they might make figures like that, but they're not really going to interact with Soundwave. Because unfortunately, this is just a closed off panel and it's just really it's just the hood of the car. So that doesn't do anything, which is unfortunate. Again, if they updated this or upsized this to Voyager, maybe they could have gotten away with it. I don't know. Probably not. But that's eh, nice to dream. <laughs> so there you go. There's Soundwave in his robot mode looking really, really nice. Again, complete surprise for me. I was not expecting to like this figure this much. This is a really, really neat design for Soundwave. And let's go check out his vehicle mode because, yeah, he does transform into a vehicle, a little bit of a, like an RV, not an RV, but like, is RV the right term? I don't know what the correct term would be, but it, it, it's like his military looking uh, communications vehicle. And I dig it. It really does work really, really well for him. So I'm going to start back here with the legs. I'm going to take the legs and just, actually, let's just leave them here. Rotate these around like so. Take this little panel here, open that up, and then take this panel here, this is the leg, or the, sorry, the wheel, and just bring that up, and then bring that panel back here again, like so. So again, open this little panel here, rotate the wheel out, and then bring this panel back down. Again, come around the back here, we're going to take this entire backpack, and this is just going to open up like so. Bring this up, there's two tabs there, or slots rather, right there and there, that are going into two tabs on these panels. There, these panels have tabs on the back of them that go into those slots to secure that whole backpack in place. Uh, before, I, first thing I should have shown you is before I start messing around with the backpack, is come right here to this clip. The head is tabbed in right there to the chest. Just untab the head and rotate that out. And rotate that back in there, just like that. That's it. Bring these wheels down. These are on double hinges, so we want to bring these out as far as they'll go. Just like that. And then just kind of take the legs here, tab these back together, and then just bring these wheels down and kind of make hip skirts out of them, if you will, kind of like that. Now, this piece of the roof here is on a double hinge with the hood right there. So we want to accordion this out, bring that all the way out. Mine gets a little tight and that's going to come up all the way like that. So that's going to form the hood and the windshield or the covered up uh, windshield right there uh, for the vehicle, along with the roof of the car right there. We're going to take these panels with the arms right here. We're going to rotate these in. There is a slot and a tab on the arms right here. So you can tab the arm in place when you bring it in here. It's not like the craziest, most secure tabbing. If it comes off, it's fine. The arms are not going to pop off on you. It stays in place even if it does pop off. But they're there if you can get to them. If you can't get to them, don't worry about it. The arms aren't going anywhere. So there you go. Guys, this is pretty much the whole car done right here. The last thing we're going to do is we're going to take this hinge right here. We're going to fold this thing in half. Make sure the legs are nice and tight together. There are slots here and here that are going to go into these, sorry, tabs here and here that are going to go into these slots here and here. And then there's slots here that we're going to go into these, sorry, there's tabs. I cannot get my tabs and slots straight today. There's tabs on the top of the front wheel wells that are going to go into those slots right in there. Uh, and we'll just straighten that all along as we go along the way. The first thing we really want to focus on is kind of just fold this up and then get these tabs into these slots in the rear of the vehicle. That's really kind of what's going to get you started on this whole thing. These little panels right here, you can pull these back out again and just kind of line those up. They will also tab in with the vehicle right there. And then again, finally, right here, these front fenders, just push these up to tab those into the hood of the car right there. Let me make sure that I've got everything lined up correctly. Yep. There we go. Now, we're going to come up here to the roof. We're going to take the little satellite dish looking thing. We're going to pop this thing up. We're going to bring this weapon. This is going to tab in, or rather uh, peg in, 
right there. And again, you can move it up and down. You can rotate it, all that good stuff. So that's pretty neat. And then finally, this last weapon here. There's a slot on, or a port on the back here. And you can just kind of put that right there. And there is Soundwave in his vehicle mode. And the vehicle mode here is approximately uh, four and a half inches long. It's about one and a half inches tall, two and a half if you go to the top of the uh, gun right here or the, the little radar dish. So again, it's a small vehicle, but check this vehicle out. This is so cool. I absolutely love this little armored car mode with satellite communication equipment all over the place on it. This is really, really new. It's very military looking or not really military, more like a, I don't know, like a government agency or a black ops kind of a vehicle. Military would be green or tan. Uh, but yeah, I really dig it. This, you know, it, it just, it just kind of reminds me of Jackhammer from Mask. Uh, although that vehicle was black, but it just kind of reminds, just the slots here on the front of the windshield and just kind of like the whole armored RV kind of look. It really just kind of reminds me of that. I really, really love this vehicle. If you guys haven't been able to tell, rolls really nicely. So the robot chest kind of becomes the hood. It does not really look out of place right there. It looks neat. You got a lot of really nice details. Even the blue wheels don't bother me. Like, realistically, I think the wheel should be black. <laughs> the, the rims, they should be black. Uh, but that doesn't bother me in blue. It's, it's such a dark blue anyway that it just looks it, it just looks fine. Black radar dish there on the top. You got some red details along the sides here and then along the front right there. Nothing really on the back. But, yeah, that is a cool vehicle. I really, really dig that. A couple of comparisons. Here he is with the Studio Series Bumblebee movie um, Cybertron mode uh, sound wave. So you can see what the two of them look like together. And again, it's just kind of like my take on a, a Cybertronian mode, right? Not related because this is a movie. This is a video game, but not, not related. But just kind of like, a hey, the, here's a Cybertronian vehicle mode for Soundwave. And here's how he um, kind of evolves into that vehicle mode on Earth, which is really, really neat. Again... Could have used a little more size. Other than that, yeah, absolutely dig it. And of course, let's check him out with his pack in mate, the Reactivate video game inspired Optimus Prime. So you can see what the two of them look like together. And now when you put these two together, it kind of makes sense, right? Those two kind of scale together well. In vehicle mode, if this vehicle was bigger, then it would look disproportionate. Prime would look smaller. I get it. Um, so I, I, I get it. I get why they did this, but um, I don't know. He's just such a small robot, man. If this this if this robot could be a Voyager sized robot, it would just look, it, it would just look so much better, I think. But that's that's just me kind of just thinking out loud. But still, just a fantastic, surprisingly good vehicle. I was again not expecting to like this figure as much as I did. I absolutely adore this figure. And for some robot mode size comparisons, here is Reactivate Video Game Inspired Soundwave next to the Studio Series Bumblebee Movie Soundwave. So you can see what the two of them look like together. I like it very... I, these are very nice takes on Cybertronian mode and sort of like video game-ish mode um, sound waves. I really like the design. I like the transition from one to the other. They're not necessarily related, but you know what I mean. Just the kind of the, the design transition. I really like what they're doing with this guy. I've been very impressed with him. Just the size, man. It's just a deluxe size figure. He, he should have been a Voyager at least. You know, he should have been at least that tall another quick comparison this guy is always here in case of a hurricane warning i do live in florida here is the g1 optimus prime and again you can see he's just a tad shorter than the g1 figure again should have been a little taller that's really my only gripe with this guy and of course here he is with his packing mate packing figure uh the reactivate video game inspired optimus prime these guys of course they come together uh, package in that in that uh, two pack right there. Uh, they they're going for about sixty two dollars right now. I got mine on Amazon. Cost me about sixty two bucks. Um, again, very nice figures. So very pleasantly surprised with this guy. Just he, you know, it's just he can't be that much smaller than Prime. He needed to be at least the same size. But there you go. One last look at the Transformers Reactivate Video Game Inspired Soundwave from the two pack. Very impressed with this figure. I was expecting not to like this figure. I really only got this pack 
for Prime. That was my only reason for getting this pack. I couldn't find anybody to uh, split with me on it. So I figured, what the heck, I'll go ahead and get the, uh, I'll just get the two pack and uh, probably throw him in a bin, or throw Soundwave in a bin or something. But he has been a surprisingly great figure. I have really enjoyed this figure very, very much. I love the design of this. I love that vehicle mode. It's such a cool vehicle mode. It's such a great idea for Soundwave. The colors look nice. Everything about this figure I've absolutely loved except the size. I really wish I could have. we could get a Voyager size version. Make no changes to this. Just upsize it. Make it Voyager and this figure would be absolutely perfect. And I think that about does it. For the Transformers Reactivate Video Game Inspired Soundwave from the 2-Pack. What did you think of this figure? Let me know that in the comments. Give me some thumbs up. Subscribe, share with your friends if you like what you see. As always, thank you so much for watching, and I'll talk to you next time.